What's going on guys, Angel here. Welcome back to another video. Today, as you saw from the title, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I haven't done this style of video in a long time. I don't even know really where I would put this at for a series or what it even would be called. So this is really just a video that I kind of want to do and just really get you all thoughts and opinions on it and really see what you all think. So today I'm gonna to be talking about what coaster each Cedar Fair Park needs. And basically it's 11 of them. If I'm correct, it's 11 of them. So it's gonna be World to Fun, King's Dominion, California's Great America, Canada's Wonderland, King's Island, Knott's Berry Farm, Carowinds, Cedar Point, Michigan's Adventure, Valley Fair, and Dorney Park. Now obviously some of these parks have honestly recently got something and also King's Dominion is gonna be getting their 2025 wing coaster. With that being said, I'm gonna take that out the equation. So we all know that King's Dominion is gonna be getting their 2025 wing coaster next year. So I'm going to add on to that, although it hasn't been announced yet, it's already in works. You already saw the updates and everything, and they're already working. They already have footers. I really just want to talk about what each park, in my opinion, should get, and I just want to see if other people agree. So hope you all enjoy the video. Let's get into it. We'll go ahead and start with a park that really hasn't gotten anything in a very long time, and you already know where I'm headed, Valley Fair. I've heard this park is very beautiful, but I must say they need a coaster. You know, it's a shame that a company like Cedar Fair goes so long without investing into a park as far as just giving them something. At least with Six Flags, they try to give them some type of big flat ride, something, not just updated bathrooms. I'm not saying that's a bad thing to have updated bathrooms, but come on now, after decades, you got to get a coaster. Like, this is insane. So their lineup is okay, but personally me, I do think they need a strong thrill ride at this park. And honestly, some sort of launch coaster or maybe like a B&M type of coaster would be really good here. I really think a launch coaster is what they kind of need at this park. It really excite that audience, I think, in that area because they really don't. I don't think they even have. Yeah, they don't even have. Oh, they have Steel Venom. But that's the only style of launch they really have. They don't have a full on launch coaster. I think that's a good option for that park because when you look at their lineup, they have Wild Thing, Steel Venom, Renegade. Mad Mouse, High Roller, Excalibur, and Corkscrew. And then they have a little kitty coaster. But I've heard good things about Excalibur, believe it or not. And also, uh, what's the right, Renegade. I've heard pretty solid things about those coasters. But other than that, they really don't have anything, you know, crazy. I think they should really just put it all in at least one year and just give them a nice, large style uh, launch coaster. I don't know who that would be by. It could be Mac. It could be Mac. It could be Vacoma, uh, Zimperla. As you see, they're working with them now. There's plenty of companies that they could go with to do this launch coaster. Uh, obviously, King's Man is going with B&M for their wing coaster. But honestly, seeing what Zimperla did, I do hope that they work with them in the future. A lot of people doubted them, which I mean, I don't, I get why. At the same time, you gotta give people a chance to see what they can really do. All right, next up is Dorney Park. I figured we might as well go ahead and get them out the way, considering they almost got a wooden coaster like Switchback, um, but that ended up not happening, mainly due to the pandemic, to be honest. Obviously with the addition of Iron Menace, that really helped them. And that was like their first coaster in literally like I think two decades or something, which is just pure ridiculous in my opinion. There's no reason, like I said, why a chain should go that long without getting some type of coaster, even if it's a small scale one. And we're talking about a ground up one. I'm not talking about one that was transferred or anything. As of right now, their lineup is Hydra, Iron Menace, Possessed, Steel Force, which I've heard great things about, Talon, Grips of Fear, you already know, Thunderhawk, Wild Mouse, and Woodstock Express. I hate to say it again, but this park needs another launch coaster. It needs, I don't want to say this every time, and I'm not going to say this every time because not every single Cedar Fair Park needs a launch coaster, but I will say this one honestly could do with a launch coaster or they really could go with a nice large scale like Woody uh, by GCI or Gravity Group would be solid in my opinion. I think that's a solid go-to person for a wooden coaster. But yeah, I mean, really, Iron Menace really helped them because they did need something like that. A dive coaster is actually perfect for that part. I think a larger scale GCI would really do great for them or a large scale like full circuit launch coaster would be also more ideal for them. All right, we're gonna switch over to a more popular park now, uh, Carowinds. So, you know, we thought they were gonna put a lot of money into this park 
uh, after obviously Fury 325 was installed in like 2015, but that didn't seem to be the case. It seems like after all the incidents with the crack and everything that people were going to this park mainly for that coaster and not just to go to that park because when you look at it, their lineup before Copperhead or Fury was pretty mid. I mean, they were right there, honestly, with Dorney Park, in my opinion. I mean, they had Hurler, Kitty Hawk, uh, Nighthawk, Ricochet, Thunder Striker, aka, or the OG, it was Intimidator. Uh, then they have Vortex, which is just, I think they repainted that coaster. And I'm still trying to figure out, like, why. <laughs> that ride is one of the worst rides I've ridden as far as stand-up. That's probably the worst stand-up I've actually ridden. It doesn't need a launch coaster. This park needs a wooden coaster. And honestly, give them something like a capacity monster, like a, a, a racing wooden coaster. I know they used to have one, but in my opinion, give them a racing RMC coaster. I would like to see another one of those. Like honorable mention, I know this isn't a Cedar Fair park, but uh, Hersey Park really should uh, invest in doing that. RMC uh, Lightning Racer, I think that would be a goat move by them. But seriously, this park, I know I've heard they don't wanna work with RMC. I don't know why that's the case, but I really think they should just think about it and get a racing RMC. That would be solid for them. And like I said, or just give them a really large scale wooden coaster because Hurler is not it and it has never been it. <laughs> you know, that, that wooden coaster, the last time I rode that, I was literally bored. Like I got off that ride and I was just like, I'm not riding that again. Other than that though, that park has a solid lineup now. I mean, they have a nice top two, but to make it a really good top three, I think getting like a larger scale Woody by GCI or Gravity Group would be really good. Or like I said, it would be cool for them to work with RMC. Uh, I wouldn't say maybe a large scale Raptor or anything. I don't really think they need that, but the racing Woody and Coaster or racing RMC would be really dope. Next up, we have Michigan's Adventure. This park, I just, I'm looking at their lineup right now as I'm making this video. And wow, they have legit nothing besides Shivering Timbers. I mean, that's really sad. So you already know where I'm going with this. As someone who loves launch coasters, they could definitely get a launch coaster. This would be really good for them, honestly. They don't even have a launch coaster at this park at all. Another one, they could do a B&M Hyper. They could do a lot with this park. They could do an RMC Raptor. They could do a ground up RMC like Air Force One. They could do so much with this. I would love to get out there to ride Shivering Timbers though. I've heard nothing but amazing things. It literally is just giant airtime hills. But seriously though, this park could get like anything and it would just help their lineup. Get rid of the SLC, oh my gosh. Thunderhawk, I haven't really heard too many good things about that ride. I mean, the color's nice, but other than that, it kind of reminds me of the T3 color, to be honest. Let me know also, because I was gonna make another video before this, before what I would add to each park, I was actually gonna make a video of what I'd get rid of. So let me know if you want me to make that video. I definitely can still do it. It just may take a little bit more time. Let's take it over to Kings Island. This park's lineup, it's solid, but they are missing something big. And Orion was not the answer to that. I, I, in my opinion, it just wasn't the answer. It was solid. It was a solid coaster. It was, it was good. It wasn't like any other Giga that I've ridden, that's for sure, but it was, it was okay. And Beast, for my Beast lovers out there, that ride, I don't know what y'all love about it, but to me, it just felt like they tried to make the world's longest coaster, and I'll leave it at that. Mystic Timbers, on the other hand, was a great experience. In Vertigo, I didn't even have a problem with that coaster. I know it sounds crazy, but I rode in the front seat and didn't have an issue at all. This park really needs a good launch coaster. I know I've been saying this, but that's one thing I'm noticing is that Cedar Fair doesn't invest in more launch coasters within their chain. I don't know why, because there's plenty of people to go to to get a launch coaster. They obviously aren't gonna go to Intimate anymore, that's for sure. But really, that would be perfect. Something like Velocicoaster at Kings Island would be like goaded. Like that is what they need. You know, Flight of Fear is great and all, but that would really help the lines for Flight of Fear by having another launch coaster. The only other thing that I really would give this park 
would probably be some sort of RMC. It doesn't even have to be a large scale Raptor. Just give them a ground up RMC, to be honest. Or if we want to take it there, Son of Beast 3.0. Let's do it, man. Add the loop in there. Let's go crazy with it. I've been saying this for years now. I don't know why they won't do it, but they don't want to do it. They don't want to listen to me. But seriously, RMC Son of Beast 3.0, that would be amazing in my opinion. Moving over to the West Coast, we're looking at Knott's Berry Farm. Man, this park, I've wanted to visit this park for a very long time. Uh, I've heard great things about Ghost Rider and Hang Time, and they even finally got Accelerator working. <laughs> I don't know if it's uh, still one train or not, but I do know Accelerator looks great now. They haven't even updated the photo as of the time of this recording. I'm recording this April 27th, 2024. Um, I'm looking at their lineup right now. They don't even have a section that says coasters. It just says thrill rides. So they have a wild mouse, a woody, a dive coaster, and they have Accelerator. This park, hmm, this one is interesting because really, RMC Ground Up, I think this park needs like a Vacoma family style coaster, a multi-generational coaster, shout out to Drunk Riders. But a multi-generational coaster at this park is actually a perfect fit in my opinion. I know this is the first time me actually saying this park needs something family oriented, but I think that's honestly the best bet for them right now. You know, it would be nice seeing like a coaster like Big Bear Mountain, which was a phenomenal ride. I'm so glad that I got to ride a new gen Vacoma because they are glass smooth. I really think that's what this park needs because I'm looking at their lineup. They have an invert. They have their dive coaster. They have a nice style uh, launch coaster accelerator. They got a nice woody, although they could get another one. But RMC ground up would be really cool. Although there's plenty of RMCs on the West Coast now, uh, what's one more? Or let's take it there, give them a Giga. I'm just saying, it's in Cali. It'd be nice to have the first Giga in the West Coast. Actually make it 300 feet. Let's go for 345 this time. Really, 350 would be dope. Yeah, B&M Giga, that would be awesome too. Or like I said, a nice family-oriented coaster would be really solid for them. Like Vacoma, you could do Zimperla, you could do plenty of people for a family style coaster. Even B&M has one now at Phoenix Rising. So yeah, those are my two options really for them. Or really three options. I'm gonna take it back over to the east side. We're gonna talk about King's Dominion, my current home park as of right now. Uh, it may change in the future real soon here. I don't know if I'm gonna move maybe somewhere else, but I know one thing. Right now, it is my home park, and I'm kind of glad it's my home park because they're getting a freaking wing coaster, a launch wing coaster in 2025, which is the perfect thing. That that park needed something like that. And honestly, the only other thing I really would have accepted would be something like Time Traveler, but even faster. Like, if it was like Ride of Happiness, I'd be like, okay, I'm really cool with that. But at this point, that park needs like a mid-thrill type of ride. So like... They could do a large scale wooden coaster like by GCI, something maybe like Mystic Timbers or really even better than Mystic Timbers would be awesome. I've heard talks about a hyper going somewhere near Grizzly. I'm going to kind of leave it at that for right now, but I have heard talks about some sort of hyper coaster would be coming over there. There's already plenty of dives in our area. Of course, like I said, you have that this area in Virginia is real tightly packed with coasters because you have Bush Gardens, Williamsburg, right down the road from them. And they have a lot of the coasters that Kings of Bean doesn't have. So yeah, really a family style coaster would be solid in my opinion. All right, we're gonna go out the US for a little bit and take ourselves over to Canada's Wonderland. I've never actually been to this park. I really do wanna go, even though their lineup is pretty trashy. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, after Yukon Striker and pretty much Leviathan, um, I'm looking at this lineup right now. You have Behemoth. But their lineup is like pretty god awful. <laughs> I'm looking at this right now. Silver Streak, they have an invert, they have an SLC, and they have a boomerang. What the world? And they have that horrible time warp ride. I have not heard a single good thing about that coaster. I'm surprised it's still there. Yukon Striker seemed like it was hit. I think I've heard a lot of people say that is their favorite uh, dive, at least within North America. I've heard nothing but really great things about Yukon. This park needs an RMC. 
I think this park would be very suitable for just a ground up RMC. I think that's solid for them. If they don't get an RMC, give them give them a launch coaster. Like I said, Cedar Fair does not have enough launch coasters within their lineup. I'm looking at it. This park, I, I don't think, I don't, oh, they have one launch coaster. They have Backlot Stunt Coaster, and that is it. Give them a large scale launch coaster. Again, it could be Mac. You have Intamin. You have B&M. You got so many people to go with for a freaking launch coaster. It's like, I actually really don't know why Cedar Fair won't invest in more launch coasters because you look at Top Thrill 2. People like launch coasters and they give you that thrill factor that you need. The ride is usually only like less than a minute long anyway. So yeah, give them a large scale uh, launch coaster. I think that's really what this park needs. All right, we're gonna come back in the States and we're gonna stay in the West Coast though. California's Great America. We've got Railblazer, The Grizzly, Woodstock Express, Psycho Mouse, Patriot, uh, Gold Striker, Flight Deck, and Demon, the Arrow Looper. So, hmm, you know what I'm going with. Y'all already know where I'm headed. Launch Coaster. I don't care. Launch Coaster because these Cedar Fair chains need one. This park definitely needs a Launch Coaster for sure, uh, considering what they have. They, it seems like they love being them. Railblazer, I didn't hear anything amazing about it, but I have heard it's a solid coaster. Uh, it seems like it's holding up well, at least a little bit better than Wonder Woman, because obviously Wonder Woman is going through a little transformation right now itself. Yeah, this park really needs a launch coaster. You know, I'm serious. Like, I would give them probably maybe like a large intimate style, although we know that California's Great America may not even be a part of the Cedar Fair chain in the near future. In fact, the more that I look at it, they don't have a launch coaster at all. They literally don't have a launch coaster. Yeah, it, I don't even think they need a large scale launch coaster. Just give them something like, you know, Copperhead Strike and I think that'll solve that problem. This park could really just do a B&M Hyper. Maybe something like Mako would be honestly solid for them too. But yeah, that's my two options for them. Either B&M Hyper or some sort of launch coaster. Again, it really doesn't matter to the manufacturer, just make it fast, <laughs> make it fast. Alrighty, we only got two left, and you know I'm gonna save the best for last. So we have Worlds of Fun. They, they actually have a solid lineup, and I'm gonna tell you something. I've heard amazing things about Prowler, uh, Zambezi Zinger, I've heard it's solid. I haven't heard really too many horrible things about that coaster, although it's their newest coaster. It's good that they finally gave that park something as well. Uh, you also have Mamba and uh, Patriot. Uh, they have a solid lineup. They do have a boomerang. <laughs> it seems like they love to just keep those around. You already know where I'm going. It, this has been the theme of this video. I mean, does every Cedar Fair chain need a launch coaster for crying out loud? Seriously, this, co this park needs a launch coaster. They don't even have one. They don't have a single launch coaster. They may have did maybe at one point in time. If not, give them a launch coaster. I think that's perfect. They could work with Bacoma and make a family style launch. Just some sort of launch coaster would be beneficial for this park in my opinion. They already have the Wild Mouse. They have a couple Woodies there. Uh, they have a nice amount of B&Ms. Then yeah, I think a launch coaster would fit perfect at this park. But if you guys are enjoying the video, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and uh, remember to hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with everything that's happening on the channel. Last but not least, here we go, Cedar Point. So as we know, they just got Top Thrill 2 and it seems to be a hit with Zen Perler. I imagine Cedar Fair is probably gonna work with Zen Perler again, uh, considering the rave reviews of Top Thrill 2. A lot of people are saying they actually prefer Top Thrill 2 over the original Top Thrill Dragster. I never got to ride, I never rode the original Top Thrill Dragster, unfortunately, but I did ride King Naka, and it is definitely an experience hearing those sounds uh, from those coasters is just pure. I love the sound of that launch. But really, this park needs to focus on a little more family style. Uh, I really, you know, I'm gonna get people in their feelings, but Magnum XL 200, eh, I'm just saying, take that out, put in a B&M Hyper, a new gen B&M Hyper, and I think we're cooking with grease. Make that thing with some ejector hills, and there you have it. But seriously, this, I mean, that park has so much. They love B&M. What I personally want them to do 
is get a very large scale wooden coaster. With them losing Mean Streak and turning that into Seal Vengeance, that was cool and all, but they also lost a really big wooden coaster. For real, I think Cedar Point needs a large scale GCI because I don't think they've yet to really work with GCI, to be honest. It would be really dope to see them work with GCI and see what they come up with. They could even do Gravity Group. It would be awesome if they worked with one of those two. Just a large scale wooden coaster would be awesome for Cedar Point. I think that's what they really need. Uh, Blue Streak is a really older wooden coaster. It, it is a little jolty. Uh, personally, I think they need to get GCI or Gravity Group to retract that one themselves. If you were to add a large scale Woody at this park, it would pretty much put it at completion because they don't really need anything else. I mean, they could work with Vekoma and get another launch coaster, but that doesn't make sense to get another launch coaster after just having one. That would make the part pretty much complete. And with that being said, this video is complete. Let me know what you all thought of in the comments section below. I really wanna hear what you all have to say. If you wanted me to let me know what I could have done better in the video or what your thoughts are, what you would have done with each park. I really wanna hear what you all have to say in the comments section below. So I will see y'all down there. But until next time, peace out.